Hello friends, Google just announced their style drop where you can train your own style with just one image. Let's say you have something like this and have outputs like these. Now they claim to outperform all of the previous methods like LoRa, Dream Booth, Textual Inversions. So uh, let's check it out. I can't understand why my calculator stopped working. It just doesn't add up. So they say here, style drop text to image generation in any style. And this is made public by a Google research. Stylized text to image generation from a single image. And here you can see some examples of that. You have to the left here, colorful flowers in V style. So V is the watercolor or whatever they used as a prompt text here. So this is the style reference image. So you have one image and out of that, you can prompt all of these separate images. So here's a baby penguin, a banana, a bench, a boat, a butterfly, a race car. Well, you get the point. And they all look very similar and very consistent with well, first one another and the reference image to the left here. In our next example here, we have uh, the Starry Night painting by Van Gogh. And all of the other images are very, very similar. And I have to say, this is pretty fantastic. And again, this is made from training with the one image. You only have one reference style image. And that's what's cool about it. I mean, the minimum of doing like a dream booth training is like 10, 15 images to get something decent. And with using just one, it's pretty impressive. Here's another one where there's a sort of an icon. So you have a person inside of a phone and then with the same style, you even get the little jiggly lines here. We get other icons in that same style. Now there's a slight difference in the background color here, but it seems to be some sort of a gradient as well. So it's not, it's hard to tell, but they look very similar even in, in color tone, which is uh, kind of impressive. I mean, obviously you can see down here that these are, are different, but they're all following a similar tone. Here's another style, a very Shutterstock icon kind of style, and uh, it falls with great. You have this little background here on the icon, the blue and the clouds, which are following great in all of the styles. Even the little stars in the background are kept in the image as well, the clouds. I have to say, for one training image, I am uh, quite impressed. And I know how tedious it can be to produce a set of icons like this. Uh, in my uh, daytime work, I this is something I've done in the past and it takes a lot of hours. So now you can just, you know, if you're a graphic designer or something, create one image and then uh, get a whole style, a whole set of icons for whatever you need for the brand or uh, your project. Here we have a kind of a sticker icon. So the Christmas tree here, and then we're getting, well, it's just the same, you know, it's the penguin, the banana, the bench, etc. again, all of them in stickers. And it just, it, it doesn't do just the 2D stuff. So here's an example with a 3D image and slices of watermelon and then some clouds here. And uh, you get the same 3D style in all of these images and the same kind of feel. It's just not the 3D, it's everything. It's the color tone, it's that roundness. You can see the roundness in all the icons that keeps the same style. And again, I know, I, I know I'm repeating myself, but from one style reference image as a very cool. Now you might be asking, wow, this looks cool. Seb, can I try this? No. You cannot, and neither can I. I can just look at this and wait. Wow, this is cool. It's like a golden, uh, golden drip. Yeah, no, we can't use this yet. We can only look at the white paper and, and all of the examples. And, uh, you know, that's kind of sad with all the AI tech that's going on that um, some of this we can't try yet. But if you've been around for a while now, you know that uh, as soon as something like this gets announced, it doesn't take long before we can try it for ourselves. Let's see what else is going on here. Stylized character rendering. Style drop generates images of alphabets with a consistent style. Yes, yeah, so you get some text stuff going on here. Let's look at the examples. Here's the, here's the cat from the previous one here. Instead of doing icons or like, well, this is more of a, the paintings. 
uh, we have letters. So that would mean we could probably do words as well. You can do one step, the baby steps to a letter. You can probably do a couple more baby steps to a full word. I mean, these water painting ones look, see if we can zoom in a little bit here. I mean, I've been water painting a lot with my kids lately, and you probably remember from your own childhood, you get these little indentations, the, the, the paper, you know, buckles a little when you put too much water in it. Just, it just looks exactly like this. Even the paper in the background is uh, realistic. It's the same thing here with the Starry Nights. Let's see what else is going on here. Style Drop is easy to train with your own brand assets and helps you to quickly prototype ideas in your own style. The style descriptor in natural language is appended to the content descriptors both at training and generation. Yeah, so what they're saying is you have the style reference image and um, a style descriptor in natural language. Well, yeah, that's basically the prompt saying that it's the text here. So uh, to the left, they have to say that it's, well, it's a cheese running cheese with arms and legs running whatever and then that they just can use the prompts here toothpaste running corgi happy cook running alligator etc i think this example is very good as well because here you have um, something that can be turned into vectors quite easily because you can just um i'm not sure if it can actually output vectors or if it's just um pixels or not i would assume it's just pixel however this can be traced quite easily in a, a vector program like uh, Illustrator. So we'll be able to do some cool um, logo types very soon, I would assume. And there's a cute little birdie down here. And here they've done a combination of style drop and dream booth uh, to generate an image of my subject in my style. Let's see here. So we have a style. So let's select, what do we got? We can select, okay, so we let's take the little doggy here and then you can take different styles. Yeah, okay. Oh, that's creepy. Let's check the teapot here. Yeah, very cool. Yeah, that's better. Here they have a comparison to fine tuning of diffusion models and what they compare it to are um, Dream Booth, Dream Booth on uh, Imagen, Dream Booth Loras on Stable Diffusion, and, and Textual Inversions. And then uh, they have it probably like, well, they've set it up in hierarchical order. They say that Style Drop is the best, obviously, because they feel that. But the, the other ones, Dream Booth, Loras, and Textual Inversions, they are in actual order because Dream Booth is, is the most intensive one, takes the longest time, produces probably the best results. And then they have the Loras, like the second second tier one of the old ones, and textual inversions down here as um, the lightweight, simple ones. I haven't actually hard prompt made easy pests. Uh, this is something I haven't heard of. So um, let me know in the comments what you think about that one. But according to them, it seems like um, looking at the rest seems to be in hierarchical order. This might be, you know, the simplest one. Anyway. So most important, I would say, style drop compared to Dream Booth and uh, Loras. That's what most people use. And uh, as of now, style drop seems to be competing very, very good. Now, they didn't show any examples of training like faces or people. But for styles, it seems to be doing pretty, pretty, pretty good. This is just a quick showcase of what's going on in the AI world. Let's hope we can try it out soon. I'll link the stuff in the description below. Like and subscribe if you wanna. I'm not your boss. Do whatever you want. As always, have a good one. See ya.